Today we're going over all the Air Jordans set to drop this month. Let's go ahead and get started with the first shoe. We have the Air Jordan 1 Low 85 in the white and black colorway. What do you guys think about this shoe? Me personally, seeing the pictures here, I love it. I love the Jordan 1 Low, all white, black, can't go wrong. I don't see anything wrong with this shoe here. What do you think? Me, it's a hard pass. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's a hard pass. Also with our size, like size 14 is hard. It's like a boat. So it looks really big in a 14. If you wear like a size nine, nine you got a chance at it. Yeah. But uh, when you got a big foot, you can't wear these kind of shoes. Is that like a light gray bottom? Yeah, I feel like it's a little soft gray. And then white on the upper mid. Mm -hmm. and then, so for me, uh, I love the idea of the 85 cut and then introducing like new colorways. We haven't seen this on the low top. There was an original from back in 85 that was a high top with the black and white like this. So it's like they're bringing it to life, but in the low top version. So for me, I'm like, I'm seeing different things come to life with this, but retail price point is high on this shoe. And we saw all the other ones that were classic colorways sit on the shelves. What is this one? Man? Uh, I don't know, but I can 40? 170. 170 for yeah, see, Jordan 1 Low. You see what I'm saying? That's Ouch. high. So now you think of 170 and you're like, do I really want to get this? I'll probably catch it on sale. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Sir. So that's the mindset behind this shoe yep. on my perspective of it. Just kind of where I would go. I agree yeah. there, but just by appearance, I, I love it personally. Yeah. Love that. But you want to rush out to the store and get that? Uh, for 170, I think, uh, I think DJ's <laughs> right. I think they're going to get it on sale. Right. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> we had to wait for that one a little yeah. bit. Okay. So PSG. Uh, soccer team sponsored by Jordan brand. Uh, this is the Air Jordan 1 Low. Looks like it's a satin on the front, on the toe. Mm -hmm. And then you got leather on the back end. It's got kind of like that salmon-y color, pinkish, infrared kind of color to it. Is this for girl soccer? This is men's soccer. It's kind of interesting how it has that fade on the toe, mm -hmm. how they did that with the materials. I wonder how they went about doing that with like the dyeing process or whatever. Cause it's like lighter on the front end. Yeah. Um, I like that tongue tap. And it's got the logo and the swoosh right here. They gave, they gave us some great details. I think it's some cool details. I just, this colors suck. I agree. I don't like that toe box at all. Yeah. So this is kind of like a PE vibe coming to life, allowed the public to get it type shoe. And then they sometimes, I'm assuming if they made this version, there's probably like a player exclusive version. So it might be like flip colors, like all black yeah. with the pink popping or something or all pink with the you know i don't know we haven't seen that version yet but for me uh i think it's a pass overall yeah, yeah. probably me as well <laughs> pass yeah. on this one yeah it almost looks like a woman's shoe but i do that's what one, i said it's one feature shoe. i do like is that uh is that tongue tap yeah i do like that but it's just a well, they got some nice me. features on the swoosh and whatnot yeah you know but again what? if they if it's if it's guys wearing that, I don't know, it's gonna be tough. What's that little side panel made of? Uh, is that satin as well? This part yeah. looks like leather. No, You're talking about that, the yeah, black, yeah, that's all black satin on the front. Yeah, yeah. No. And then, so the creasing and other elements to that is gonna happen too. That we gotta do. Right. Okay, trash. so pass overall. Pass, yeah, pass. Pass, pass, pass trash. trash. Yeah, trash. Okay, next up right here. This is a women's release that I heard, but on here, it looks like it says a men's release. I'm not sure. Either way, it retails 180 bucks and you have the satin shadow Air Jordan 1s. So we've seen this in a couple of different iterations and colors over the years. This reminds me of the Laylee May Air Jordan 1, uh, very similar. For me, it's a cop, but on sale. I wouldn't cop this. Okay. We're, we're betting a thousand and crap. <laughs> This is the problem. <laughs> the the black and red satin ones they came out with. Yeah. Pretty good looking. Okay. But since they did that, they're like, well, we can do it again. Those tanks, those were terrible when they released But too. that's my point. Right. You already did it, and then you see it didn't do good. Now we're gonna double down on it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, for me it's a pass. I do like the colors and everything, but that keyword satin for me, <laughs> it just doesn't work. They, that's, yeah. They just they need to leave the satin alone. Yeah. On the Jordans. So yeah. again, it was like they were doing it on the women's releases and they, they, they had done an exclusive release some years ago with the breads and the royals. And then they did the women's satins when they did like the shatter backboard, different stuff like that. Yeah, that. So 
they've done that but again I, I think it's a women's release but i'm not 100 sure the bread was a women's release uh they didn't even make that in our size so and i will say this our opinion really didn't even matter because they didn't even come out in our size the black and red satins for the small feet of girls they look cool on them yeah but yeah. new dudes yeah more nah yeah no nah. nah okay next hard up pass, right here hard pass. the howard university quote unquote air jordan one low 140 bucks you guys know what the PE looks like. This is the general release. See, and they, no. Okay, you first. <laughs> Me personally, uh, just, but it's hard with images. This might be one that you get in hand and it's a lot nicer than what you see here. I like the hit uh, of the Nike swoosh on the, on the toe box mm -hmm. there. I do like that. I like the colorway. It, it could be a cop for me. That's something I definitely want to see in hand. 140 bucks retail. That's not a bad price, but here's the problem for me. Once you look at what the originals was to see this, this looked like a dumbed down version. Yeah. And it sure. doesn't look like they put the same uh, into it. Just like, oh, we gonna, since they did it like, oh great, we're just gonna put this out because we got this. Right. Like you're trying to capitalize on something. So for me, I, again, pass. It's a pass for you. Huh? So for me, I'm in the middle and I think the reason why I'm probably leaning towards a cop is because I just got a lot of one lows and I wear them and they're just so easy to have in a rotation. So like having different flavors in the rotation and just being able to throw them on and stuff, it's kind of like, let me grab one if I can catch it on sale. And I, you know, I'm spending whatever it is, 80, 100 bucks, whatever. I'm like, I'll, I'll add another one to the rotation. But having the PE and knowing all the stuff and everything, and this literally has no school branding on it. Right. Yeah, people are calling it the Howard PE, which makes right. zero sense in my head. Right. I'm sure. like, it's not even the same. And then there's the classic, like when they announced that the Howard ones were getting retro and they said it was going to be the same exact shoe as the PE. And then everybody was like, ha ha ha. And then now it's like jokes on you. Like, what are you talking about? So it's a, it's an interesting one, but for me overall, I think it's just, it's hard That's... to lose color blocking. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it, I wouldn't mind having it, but if I yeah. missed it and I didn't get it until two years later, like, fine. Yeah. I think that's the only thing they did that was like the originals, is was the swoosh on the foot. Right. The that's it. Materials, color blocking, everything is different. I like it. So, I, I like it. potential like pass, it. on sale, uh, poti retail. 140. It's, it's like I said, the one. it's something I need to see in hand, but uh, just looking at it here, that says it's a cop for me. Okay. Yeah, I'm on the fence. I think I would go after it if I got it for a good deal. Um, I could definitely see myself just throwing them on whenever we know you're not going to definitely know. Okay. <laughs> so Air Jordan Tatum three. Okay. 10,000 hours. So, you know, they say you got to put 10,000 hours into your craft to become right. great and amazing and all those things. $125 is the retail. Now, first things first, this model is dope. It has like great 90s vibes to it it's all about the color block yeah, yeah. what do you guys think i honestly i was just about to say that not bad at all just by the picture what i'm seeing here not bad at all i like the colorway that is i kind of like it i kind of like it for sure i think it's a cop it gives you the old school vibes the ones with the kind of pod things on the sides mm -hmm. Kind of yes. that old school uh, Sean Kemp and Shaq kind of shoe look. Mm -hmm. You know, they did all that. They kept it busy. I like it. They did good. I think they did a good job on the shoe. I love this shoe. I think it's just the colorway for me in particular. I'm mm -hmm. like, because like, this is a shoe that you don't go out and buy six different pairs of. No. So I'm like, I like it, but I probably would want to get a different color. So I would say, hey, I'm gonna hold off on this one and let me wait till another colorway comes out. Right, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's I, kind of what I, I would be on the fence of saying this. I would get it and just shelf it until I got somewhere to go. Like, I can't really just mess this shoe up and I want everybody to see it right now. Mm -hmm. And then but I'm just wearing it one time. People aren't wearing these off court. <laughs> like I have yet to see somebody wear these off court. Yeah. I like that top view. Yeah, this is a good looking shoe. Value. Yeah, no, this is a, this is a dope shoe. I feel like yeah. out of the three athletes with Jordan Brand, like they've definitely been stepping up and doing a good job with Tatum shoes. Yeah, in my opinion. I okay, know, I own a few Tatum Jordans. Yeah. Next up, right here, 180 bucks. 
Uh, you guys saw these today. The yeah. Black Toe yeah. Reimagined yeah. Air Jordan 1s. Cop. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen these in hand, actually. Yeah. Cop. <laughs> so, what do you think? Like I said, I, I, I had it in hand. I, it felt nice. It looks good. I gave it an eight and a half, I believe. Okay. It's a cop. It's one of those ones you just go ahead and throw it in the rotation, you know? I am interested and I like the fact that we have this whole thing with the black toe ones mm -hmm. and they have the white tongue or the black tongue. There's different versions between the sample and then the release that came out to the public. Right. And they went back with the sample vibe, giving us the black tongue and then having the text on there and everything. So it's dope to see that stuff happening and being brought to life. So for me, yes, it's a cop, but I actually think I want to get two pairs of these. You see, I can see myself doubling up on this. And shit. The, the, with them putting the Air Jordan instead of the wings on there, yeah, that was just another little hint. Like, okay, I see you. Yeah, I mean, it's something new because yep. we don't get I that like all the time, you know. Yeah, no, not at so all. So I'm really feeling good about the shoe overall. Like I said, it's it's a, it's a nice looking shoe. Yeah, and the materials are nice. Stay mm -hmm. tuned. Review coming soon. Yeah. Don't worry, guys. Out here at Sneaker Con, let's see what people think about the new Black Toe Ones. Rate this a 10 out of 10. Trash. What the fuck is this? Bring back the Wings logo. We don't want this Walmart StockX bullshit. We want the OG ones. And not that shit they got in the picture, neither. We want the Wings logo. This shit is trash. I give it a 10. A 10. Honest, I would give them a 9. I think these are better than the old pair, for real. Just the little details, yeah, bro. These are a 9. Not that much of a 1's guy, but I'll give this a 9. I'm gonna give this a 9. First impression rated out of 10, I give it an 8.5. Michael Jordan logo, uh, signature on the inside, decent touch, but I'm not a fan of the Rare Air replacing the Wings logo. But other than that, cool shoe, but the Wings logo missing it, it don't make it a retro one to me. I'm, I'm not a fan. I think this might be the last one of the month. We have the Orchid Air Jordan 4. Now for me, I don't think this is coming out in my size, but these are fire. I will cop these all day. You can't go wrong with these. Go ahead, I'll let y'all decide. Me, uh, it's, a, it's a four. I'm not big on fours anyway. Uh, a little bulky, a little heavy. I'm not big on the colorway. That's a for, little bit more vibrant image right there. For me, it would be a pass. Okay. For me, this is a must have. You gotta throw in a collection. You gotta rock it, you know, and go places and do things with this shoe. I don't think it's gonna come out in our size. And it's one of them shoes I'm gonna be salty about that they didn't make in my size. Yeah. Like you would be able to copy it. And I'm like, damn, you don't even want it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, yeah. I probably won't be able to get this shoe, but right. I think these are really dope. And uh, it's just a different shoe. Like I got a bunch of, you know, all pink shoes in my collection, whether yeah. it's a lighter pink or a hot pink or whatever. So for me, this is a dope. I mean, it's a white cement four. That's what I was doing. What a pink upper, yeah. like that's all it is. And like we talk about all the time, like you could take a shoe and just literally take a classic color blocking and change the colors, but not the blocking. And you, you still can't lose. Hits. Like yeah. it's just, it's undefeated color blocking. Yeah. So then it's just like easy to win. I'm just not big on that color. Man. The color though. Just the color. Yeah. The but again, if you just put on all black and just go somewhere, you can make it happen. Just, uh and make the shoe be the statement. And that's what's great about all this yeah. too. Our eyes are seeing so different things, yeah. you know what I mean? And, well, and the first picture, it looked kind of gray. That first picture? Yeah, yeah that's that a picture. bad yeah, picture. Yeah, that looks very that. white. And if that's what it is, then- It's a lot more right. vibrant. That's okay. all I was saying. Yeah. The, These yeah. images are better, like kind of like this. Like. Yeah. So yeah, that is kind of- it's What's actually, that coming out at for it, price wise? Uh, like 180 or something? I don't even know if it says it on here. It doesn't probably say- 220. I was about to say, it's probably like two or 220. They'd be forgetting it. To, these women's shoes, you can't be doing that. Okay, so it's a light month for October because we know they're gonna go hard in November and December. So pretty light, but not that many bangers. Okay. So tell me what you guys' top three sneakers are from this month so we can wrap this thing up. Where, who wants to go first? You can go first. All right, you go first. For me, it's definitely the Jordan one high. So reimagine? Yes. Okay. Yes, definitely that one. And definitely the Jordan one low. The low white top. And black, yes, for okay. sure. Okay. And uh, the one right underneath it, the Jason Jordan too. one low. Oh. The okay. Howard. The Howard. Okay. Well, they okay. call it the Howard. So all ones and one lows for you. 
That's it. It's honestly, that's basically what all I'm releasing this month, but. They stick to the script. <laughs> okay, but then also, I'm, I'm very partial to the ones, you know, it's my second favorite silhouette. I feel so. that, I feel that. All right, what for you? I'm gonna go with the ones with the jump in, uh, the Jordan on the side. This one right here. Not the black and red, that one. Oh yeah, yeah. Real yeah. yeah. And then oddly enough, I'm messing with them Tatums. Tatums, second. Yeah. Okay. I'm messing with them Tatums. Really? And what we got for third? And then we have to throw in the pink ones. The fours? For the fours. Okay. Those is clean. Okay. For me, I'm going, yeah, black toes first. Second, I'm probably going with the pink fours. And then third, I feel like I would go Howard. Yeah, I probably would go Howard. You got with the Howards? Yeah, I'm gonna get those for sure. I just don't want to spend 170 bucks for the white and black ones. <laughs> so I'm like, we gonna wait on those. Listen, for one city, because right now they have, what do they have out now? The 85 cut, they have the white and the blue and the- uh, Sitting, right. Yeah, sitting. And that's an OG colorway. Yes, yeah, sit, yes. So that one right there, I would imagine is gonna go ahead and sit, go on sale and just pick them up then. Okay, so I think that's gonna do it. You don't have a Instagram or YouTube, I but you got that. a TikTok. I do. So we'll link that down below in the description. Go ahead and tell them what it is. At the angry Joe. <laughs> He's been angry the whole episode, if you guys haven't noticed. It's gonna be joyful. Once I again. told him I was gonna get him to laugh. He said, I don't like you like that. <laughs> See, look at him. This is crazy. <laughs> Where's the love, you man? Come on, man. <laughs> just killing the vibe, man. See, these, these guys just, I take things extremely serious. <laughs> we're, we're batting a thousand of crap right now. <laughs> this is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about this one time? What about it? You, <laughs> hey, when you didn't get those pair of shoes you wanted. It wasn't a pair of shoes you was trying to get when you was trying to get out here and you didn't get it. That he just licked his lips because he was ready to smile. <laughs> so he said, ah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they, they got it. <laughs> oh my God. All right, um, yeah. Get him to take care on all the platforms. We'll have everything linked down below in the description as well. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in another one. All We're right. making Angry Joe happy tonight. <laughs> Pause. We got to cut the video. Get it out I would never let you down. It's in my DNA. Hey, the hey, only pop. choice I like to make what I'm aware it's today. One of those. I would never let you down. It's in my DNA. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it. It's in it.